Okay, here we are at 3663 Elming 10, three car garage. This sits on a cul de sac. You're one house in from the end, and then there's a cul de sac. You're offset from the road a, quite a good distance there. There's a block fence in between you, and then there's the rest of the cul de sac. That road right there where you see that white car is a main vein coming into the subdivision. However, you see it's on the far side of the cul-de-sac on the other side. So that's all open there. All single stories on this road. And there are your neighbors, all single stories. Got the uh, desert landscaping here. Nice shade tree in the front, but it's all rock. And your three car garage. Here is the side of the property. Excuse me, there's some wind. You might be getting some wind noise in the mic there. You got a side gate there. And here we walk into the front door. Front entryway here. Uh, the electricity is turned off. It is a bank-owned property, so unfortunately there's not a lot of light. I try to open up all the doors and windows to get as much light. You have, it looks like, 14-inch tile as you walk in. To your right is the kitchen area. Okay, Gene had the genius idea to kick on the breaker. And the electricity actually is on, so I'm going to give you another shot at the kitchen here with the lights on. Get a better look at the cabinetry. See, it has these nice cabinets here. Nice glass in that corner cabinet there. Cabinets, there's above the uh, microwave. There's your microwave. Here's your area for the refrigerator. And here is. Yeah. It's a big old one. I don't understand it. There's the laundry area off the kitchen. Your. Uh, Dryer is electric. All right, and then here's coming out a laundry room. There's a view of the kitchen area again. It's all clean. Very clean. I'm gonna pull up in the uh, pantry again for depth. Get a better look at the pantry. Go back and get a better look at this uh, closet in here because I know you're going to want to see that. So here's the bathroom again, and the water closet. Ah, we have light. And there is the master closet. No, let's glory. Very clean. Very clean. I'm walking into the closet. I'm turning around. You can see I have plenty of space. You want to walk in the closet, Jean, so they can get a idea of the space in there. Oh, what will I wear today? <laughs> All the way back here to my section and my section. That's right. the section. All right, the section right there. Nice. I think that's you, Jan, right over there. You get those. Yeah. Jan gets the four pegs right yeah, there to hang everything that's, up. That's for Jan. Very nice size. Okay. And the carpet again, all clean. Here is the uh, master bedroom. I've pulled tape on these, so I'll be able to give you some measurements as well. All right, let's see. Was there anything else that was dark? Take a picture of the tub, too, to show how clean it is because it's oh, yeah. kind of dark. Oh, yeah. I did show the tub, it's but I'll show it again. Places with places to, to hold stuff and everything, which is a plus. Right. Got the uh, built-in showing there. Yeah, it's very clean. It's not got any rust or anything around it a lot. Just very clean. There's the tub. Very, the very faucet. Clean. Got the detachable shower head. And the nice uh, door there. Again, tile in the bathroom. All right, here's the other bathroom now that we've got the lights on. And that looks pretty 
pretty good shape. Shower head. Let's get another look underneath here. Now with some lighting, you can see that the plumbing is all in good shape. Okay, here we are again. Sorry about that. Just got the garage doors open. So now you can see inside the garages. We've got a three car. That looks like. There's your water heater. That looks like a gas heater. There's, you got a. Yeah, it looks gas. You got a garage door opener on the two. The one garage is just a manual. Definitely plenty of room in the garage. And there is your view out front. So again, a lot of a lot of space on the cul-de-sac, a lot of separation. Yeah, I, I, I did a shot down the street. But we'll walk out and get another look. So there's your neighbor right there, or your uh, kitty corner neighbor. There's the house next door, another three car garage house. All right, now with this door open, I bet you we can get some more light into the kitchen. So let's walk back in. Okay, yep, a little bit more light. You see there's your cabinetry. Some nice cabinets. Cabinets all look in real good shape. Yeah, for bank on, it's definitely clean. Around hundred thousand dollars underneath one of the cabinets. All the uh, blinds are throughout too, and they're all just sheets. Here's under the sink. That's probably getting a little dark. Garbage disposal. There's your range and microwave again. And. Four cabinets for the island. Let's see if we can peek under there. Good depth inside the cabinets on the island. Again, there's four of those and the drawers. It's an eat-in kitchen. Eat-in kitchen. And again, there's your dining area. There's your view. Got a lot of inset lighting in the ceiling. And again, there's your pantry over there. Sink kitchen. Got the recessed lighting, lighting there in the kitchen. And then when you look at your sink, there's this opening here into your living area. And the backyard. So and the backyard, you can see straight over. through. <laughs> All right, here's the main living area. It's carpeted there. You have this. Um, Set in a uh, entertainment uh, shelving here, big spaces for your entertainment. So it's not vaulted actually, ceilings again. It's not actually right in your living room. It's like an entryway here of about eight feet, eight to ten feet. Mm -hmm. If you want to uh, to walk in and walk into the living room, Jean, so they can there. see that. And here is the backyard. Right now it's all rock. You have a covered uh, patio with recessed lighting again. Plenty of room to put a pool back there. We've got some trees. And no two stories. And no two stories. So there's nobody peeking in. Those are all one stories on the other side of your block fence there. And that's southern exposure, so you'll have full sun all summer long. Yep, southern exposure. Some that house is directly south to you. Let's get out of the backyard a little bit. There is your side gate. There's Gene over there. There's your backyard. Again, there's your house next door. You can see it's one story, so nobody can peek in. Got a tile roof, looks in decent condition. Go over here to the other side. Here's your 
AC unit. AC unit looks in good condition. It looks like they they wrapped the uh, intake there to keep it insulated more. There's the side of the property. We got a direct TV dish right there. And again, another shot of the backyard. Plenty of space for a pool. All right, this is also split level floor plan. So the master is on the west side of the house. The rest of the bedrooms are on the east. It's four bedrooms total. There's, oh, the carpet is clean too. Yeah, the bedroom is, there's the first bedroom. See, the carpet is in great shape. That's there one are of the smaller bedrooms. There's bigger one up front. Ceiling fans right there. Cool. There's the window to the backyard. Here's your closet space. Ceiling fan in all the rooms. The recessed lighting there. <clears throat> Got a closet right here, hallway closet. Here's the hallway bathroom. So you got shower and tub. The window above it. There's your just a single sink in this bathroom for the hallway. You got a cab, uh, you know, bathroom cabinet on the side. There's your window. Here's underneath, plumbing looks in uh, real good shape. No signs of leaks or anything in that bathroom. Uh, continue down the hallway. Here is bedroom number two. Again, ceiling fan. Carpet in good shape. And here is the closet here. And then another bedroom here. This bedroom is the largest of the uh, three here on the side. Good sized bedroom. And here is again the closet space. And nice big window looking out to the front of the property. Ceiling fan, and there's the hallway again to the three bedrooms. And these are on the east side of the property. All right, coming back over this direction, now we go to the master bedroom, which is on the west side of the house for the split level. There's the master bedroom. Got the vaulted ceilings in the master bedroom. Ceiling fan. A nice big window you can view the pool from. All the paint's in good shape too. I mean, yeah, paint's in good shape. Other than colors, but they wouldn't have to repaint right away. A couple nicks and beans in the paint, but nothing too right bad. Down there in the Here's the entrance to the master bathroom.